This is a CPW 100-3. Uh, the three stands for it has a diesel engine. Um, a two is a gas engine and one is electric. So that's the difference in the last call letter. This is a potable water cart. And to start this out, you should basically inspect the cart before you're actually going to use it. So, I mean, you check the tires, check the gas or diesel fuel, check the oil in the engine and uh, make sure everything is where it should be prior to starting the motor or using the unit. On the other side over here, we have a shutoff valve, which is down underneath here, and it will be labeled eventually. It's like anything else, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. It'll open up the water valve and let the water go back to the water pump. And at that point, make sure that you have plenty of water in your tank to make sure that you have enough to fill your aircraft. What we do next then is we take this hose here, we take the plug off, oops, and we have some water. And you open up the door on the aircraft and you plug this in where you put the water in the aircraft. Okay, and at that point, you can uh, open your valve here and then you go over and start the engine. It has electric start, your throttle is back here. This is the lever here. You pull it up to run faster, down is slower, and your start key is down here. And as once your engine starts, it will automatically start pumping water into the plane. And to see that you're actually pumping water, there's a flow indicator in here. The little impeller will be spinning. It doesn't tell you how many gallons you're putting in, but it indicates that you actually have water going into the plane. And for some reason, if your engine does not start, you take this lever here, turn it sideways, one way or the other. Then you can use the hand pump, which is here. This hand pump will take you a little bit longer to fill the plane, okay? Once you finish with it, you take your lever, you put it back to where it was, and you are finished. This is actually your tow bar and your brake at the same time. You can pull it around, but in order to get the brakes to work, you gotta push up on it. This is the fill. This is how you put water into it. It has a coupling and a check valve. Water goes in, but it won't come back out. There's a, a hose that they have that has this end on it, oh, it that fits on here and locks on there and it'll fill it, and then it's just like any other garden holes or whatever they're using to fill it, they have to shut it off, sure. you know, okay. when the tank is full. Yeah. That's a manhole, that's an inspection cover. Every so often, um, they will take that cover off and they will clean out the tank. There is a strainer that uh, should be drained or checked every year. You'll see that eventually the wheel bearings will go out. I believe we sell quite a few of those parts. Hand pump over time, if it's not used. The pump itself, after long periods of use. This has winterization, so that uh, in the colder climates, anything that's like 32 degrees or somewhere's in that area, um, you should plug it in at night. Um, if you're left outside, um, it has a sump heater which heats the water in the tank to keep it from freezing it also has a heater in the compartment to keep the hose reel and all the water that's still in the system from freezing up along with heat tape that runs from the inside the compartment down underneath the unit to where the shutoff valve is that's about it it's simple maintenance your biggest thing is make sure that you keep the engine oil level checked fuel in it and it'll last for a long time